Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. Now, before we get into this video, feel free to check out the previous update on Bitcoin that I did. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of the video. Also, I want to mention the two donation links down below in the description. If you want to support Ukraine, you can go over to one of the you one of the official websites that's linked down below and you can donate to the Ukrainian refugees or to Ukraine's military. Thank you all for supporting Ukraine. And also I want to mention the special offer that I have for you guys. Uh, now I am affiliated with ExpressVPN and they do have a nice deal for you over here. So $6.67 for 15 months, 30 days, money guaranteed back. They have uh, servers in 94 countries and if you don't want the government spying on you and you don't want your local network providers uh, spying on you then a vpn is the best thing that you can use to protect yourself and protect your data and you can also pay in bitcoin like i said 30 days risk-free no activity logs and no connection logs apps available for every single uh possible uh, phone or or laptop that you can imagine so the link is in the description let's get on with the video so jumping into the daily chart over here uh we're gonna take a look at this large falling wedge as you can see we broke down from it and i'm not going to be repeating a lot of the stuff that i said from the previous video so make sure you watch that before watching this one so that you have more context so as you can see we had a rising wedge over here uh, the white patterns were a rising wedge as you can see we broke down from this pattern and in a cascade uh, over here and right now we need to back test some sort of a resistance level i'm eyeballing the 20 ema on the daily chart so we could come all the way up here have a nice little pump create a lower high and then continue on with the dump um, to the downside but one other thing that I'm looking at over here is a potential backtest of this yellow trend line because if you pay attention and you look at how many touches we have off of this trend line as support, you have one touch over here, multiple wicks to this area. As you can see, we did go below it a bit. And now here we lose it in 2022 and we don't have a backtest of resistance. I don't believe that. I do think we're going to have a back test of resistance over here and we're going to get rejected back down now the question is if we're going to get rejected will we print a higher low or will we print a lower low and with uh, with the possibility of a recession happening i do think all assets will have another dump and it doesn't matter that bitcoin never went below the previous cycles all-time high I, I i do think we're gonna go and test some of the support levels also at the end of the video i'm going to have a nice little um trade for you on the binance website so feel free to stick around and watch till the end now if we jump into the daily over here you can see on the rsi you can see that we are below this support trend line so if i just take that and just manage it like that there we go so as you can see we lost this trend line and with this little pump that we had we went and back tested this trend line as resistance and we went and created a lower low as you can see we had touched this support in january in may and here you lost it and you back tested it as resistance that is exactly what i'm expecting with the price action okay because it is very important to back test a level as resistance that will be another confirmation that you're bearish and you will come back down by that point i do think the 55 ema over here could creep down below to the uh, yellow support well previous support trend line and we could get rejected from the 55 over here and then we come back lower so we either come back lower and print a nice double bottom pattern here on the daily chart which would be perfect and that would be a nice level for us to accumulate okay and then you break to the upside towards the end of the year or you come back down and you test some of these support levels that we're going to take a look at uh, right now so we're going to take a look at a different chart over here so i do have multiple bitcoin charts over here and i do want to show you a different one so yes this is one of the charts that i want to show you as well so you can see that we do have and uh, now this is coinbase 
This is Coinbase's chart, and we do have a wick down here to $25,500. So this is another area that I will be looking at. Uh, as you can see, we're creating some sort of a potential bottom over here, right? No one knows. You have the 1.618 below you. The 1.618 over here is sitting at $16,000 800. So this is our technical target right now. If I take one of these over here and I should I can just remove these price tags. I don't need them. So $16,000 745. This is our technical target. You do have the swing high over here in November. You do have the swing low all the way back here in June of last year. So you lose the swing low, you target the 1.618 and this is exactly at $16,000 743. So potentially, if we do have a recession, we could wick all the way down to this area and then have a very quick recovery. Right? So you can start flipping bullish short term, right? You can come back and back test $25,500. Then you come back down, you get the recession, and then you come all the way back down here. Obviously, that should happen uh, closer to the end of this quarter, which is June 30th. I think June 29th is when we'll get the, the confirmation. And yeah, so this is something that I'm looking at just because we wicked to this area shows that there is support. Once you lose that support, it becomes resistance. And now we have to back test that level as resistance. Now on different charts, this wick will be different. So wherever you see that wick on your exchange, that is the resistance level. For Coinbase over here, it is sitting at $25,500, okay? So that's a major support level. Obviously, the 1.414 here is sitting at $20,000. We have landed in this zone um, perfectly, and this is exactly where the previous uh, cycle's all-time high is. So from a technical standpoint, backtesting the previous resistance level is very bullish. And a level below that that we have is over here at $14,000, which is the high that we printed during the summer of 2019. And if we take a look at the second FIB level here, so the second FIB level is sitting at $12,000, which is slightly below this over here. But it does come in line with this high that we created in August of 2020, basically at the end of summer, before we had the pullback into autumn. And then we started recovering by the end of September, and we entered this huge, huge move to the upside, which was the wave three, right, of the Elliott wave theory. You had the wave four pullback, you have the wave five, and now you have the A, B, and C leg down, and we're looking for that C leg bottom, okay? So you have multiple levels. Obviously, Bitcoin can dump to either one of these supports. I think this is something that we should eyeball. This swing high over here, this swing high over here, okay? So these are two major levels. If we lose $20,000, I'm first targeting, obviously, the 1.618, then $14,000 over here, then $12,000 over here, which I think is less likely. So this is basically the second FIB level over here corresponding to this low. So, yeah, that's what I think regarding the support levels. That's where I think the, the, the three potential bottoms for Bitcoin at this point. And I don't know how long, even if we do come down to $12,000, how long do you think this will last? I don't think... The big players are going to let you buy $12,000 Bitcoin for a very long time. So if we do drop below $20,000, I do think it will be for a brief period of time. And during that time, I will try to accumulate as much crypto as possible. Now, I do want to switch over to the Binance website and give you a nice little potential double bottom pattern here, which would come into play with the fact that we have a resistance level over here during this initial uh, flash crash. So on Binance's website, the wick over here was not $25,500 like it is on Coinbase. It is actually uh, $26,700. Okay. And you could potentially expect a back test of resistance at $26,000 over here, $26,500, let's say. And we do have a potential double bottom pattern here on the two hour chart. So this is the two hour chart. Okay. You do have the second low slightly higher than the first one. Okay, this is your second low. This is your first one. The second one is a bit higher. Then you take a trend line from the top of the uh, double bottom pattern all the way to the bottom here. And then you place it where the uh, 
where the neckline is. And if you break that, you have a target at $25,000, which from where we are right now is a nice 21% trade for all of you potentially waiting for this nice thing to play out. But be careful entering long or short positions. I would only enter right once we broke this because that's what traders do. They wait for confirmation. You break that, then you enter on the back test of support, right? And then you take out the target. So if you enter on the back test of support, then from this level over here, technically, uh, you would be a 10.5% trade. So it's less reward, but less risk as well. But if you enter a, a long position from here, you know, and, and, and you potentially uh, start doing something like this, right? You start coming up, you get rejected by the 55 and you're anticipating to go here, right? But this is getting us rejected and you think, oh, this is a little pullback. And then you end up dropping and you get liquidated even though you have your stop loss uh, below the support here. So it, it's just safer to, it's just safer to enter once you do break a resistance level and then you are more likely to take out that target. But that is pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. If I missed out anything on the charts, please let me know down below in the comment section. Feel free to follow me on Twitter. I do post technical analysis in there and feel free to join my Patreon. It's a great way to support me and a great way for you to get more exclusive content like TA, uh, exclusive videos, uh, market sentiment analysis, project reviews, low cap gem calls. We have around about 25 low cap gem calls in there. If you join now, all of those posts will be unlocked around about 500 posts I think right now we have on Patreon. I do them on a daily basis and you get the same benefits here on YouTube if you join the and become a member here on YouTube. It's just a different platform, but you get the exact same benefits. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night.